Liam Payne's sister, Ruth Gibbons, says she does not feel this world was good enough or kind enough to him in a heartfelt tribute to her late brother. In a statement posted on Instagram on Saturday, Ms. Gibbons said her brother's ability to make her laugh is what she loved most about him, adding she was in awe of his talent. It comes as their father is in Buenos Aires to arrange the repatriation of the One Direction singer's body. Jeff Payne read letters and cards from fans on Friday outside the Casa Sur Hotel in the Argentine capital, where the British star, 31, fell from a third-floor balcony on Wednesday. The singer's family said they were heartbroken by Payne's death, adding, Liam will forever live in our hearts and we'll remember him for his kind, funny, and brave soul. Miss Gibbons wrote, My brain is struggling to catch up with what's happening and I don't understand where you've gone. What I love most about you is your ability to make me laugh. I never chuckle as much as I do when I'm with you with anyone else. I'm always in awe of your talent. It should be illegal to be so talented and just have the ability to not only be good at things, but be bloody great at everything you attempt, without even knowing you're absolutely smashing it each time. Ruth also wrote, I don't feel this world was good enough or kind enough to you, and quite often over the last few years, You've had to really try hard to overcome all that was being aimed at you. You just wanted to be loved and to make people happy with your music. You never believed you were good enough. I hope you can now see this outpouring of love that you never received in your time. Thank you for changing my life. Thank you for the incredible memories. Thank you for being the best brother and friend I'll ever have. Ruth also wrote, I'm sorry I couldn't save you, and added, One last time I need you to know, I'm here if you need anything. I'd drive to the end of the universe to bring you back. She also said that her family would take care of Bear, Payne and Cheryl's seven-year-old son. Liam knew he could call me any time, any day, and I would pick up or that I would always fetch him if he needed to just come home, Ruth said. His former partner, Girls Aloud singer Cheryl, said she was concerned about protecting their seven-year-old son, Bear, after the death of his father, whom she was with from 2016 to 2018. As I try to navigate this earth-shattering event and work through my own grief at this indescribably painful time, I'd like to kindly remind everyone that we have lost a human being," she wrote in a post on Instagram. Sharing a black and white picture of pain in bed with Bear as a baby, she added, Liam was not only a pop star and celebrity, he was a son, a brother, an uncle, a dear friend, and a father to our seven-year-old son, a son that now has to face the reality of never seeing his father again. Meanwhile, music mogul Simon Cowell said he was truly devastated, adding that he felt heartbroken and empty. Every tear I have shed is a memory of you, he wrote in a statement on Instagram. I had to tell you when you were 14 that this wasn't your time, and we both made a promise that we would meet again. A lot of people would have given up. You didn't. Dermot O'Leary felt deep sadness for the family, noting that working as an extractor often brings a strong connection with them. He described the contestants' parents as adorable and supportive, highlighting their encouragement of their child's singing dream. His reflections emphasized the emotional bonds formed in such a short time, making the loss even more poignant. Obviously very sad, um, and your hearts go out to uh, his family, because when you do extract, you get to know the families sort of so well in such a short period of time. Uh, and his mum and dad were just adorable. They were very kind of proprietorial over him. They were, they, they were never pushy. This was very much his dream. He loved, he just loved to sing. Niall Horan was the last bandmate to share a touching tribute, saying he will cherish every moment he had with Payne forever. Payne was spotted dancing at Horan's show around two weeks ago at the Movistar Arena in Argentina alongside his girlfriend. I feel so fortunate that I got to see him recently. I sadly didn't know that after saying goodbye and hugging him that evening, I would be saying goodbye forever. It's heartbreaking. Horan wrote. Payne's other band members also paid separate emotional tributes on social media, while a joint statement from the group said they were completely devastated and will miss the singer terribly, adding the memories we shared with him will be treasured forever. Zed expressed his disbelief and heartbreak over Liam Payne's passing, saying it feels surreal and utterly devastating. He wrote, R.I.P. Liam, I can't believe this is real. Absolutely heartbreaking. Flavor Flav tweeted his condolences, mourning Liam Payne's passing and noting that he was taken too young. He wrote, R.I.P. to Liam Payne, much too young. Lena reflected on her childhood as a diehard One Direction fan, sharing how memories flooded back like a film reel in light of Liam Payne's passing. The way my entire childhood of being an insane diehard 1D fan just played in my head like a film reel. Juicy J expressed his disbelief over Liam Payne's passing, sharing his condolences and sending prayers to the family. He wrote on X, R.I.P. Liam Payne, wow, I can't believe it prayers up for the family. 
Wesley expressed disbelief over Liam Payne's passing, describing him as a cool and talented person, and called the news absolutely heartbreaking. He wrote, I cannot believe the news about Liam Payne, such a cool, talented dude. Absolutely heartbreaking. Rest in paradise. Paris Hilton shared her heartbreak over Liam Payne's passing, remembering him as a kind soul and sending love to his family. She wrote on X, so upsetting to hear the news of. Liam Payne passing sending love and condolences to his family and loved ones. R.I.P. my friend. Kay expressed disbelief over Liam Payne's passing, highlighting how surreal it feels and reflecting on the heavy toll 2024 has taken. She wrote on X, Why does it feel like we entered into another alternate universe? Like, what do you mean Liam Payne is dead? Aunt Middleton expressed shock upon hearing troubling news about his friend Liam, noting that it was the first he had heard of it. He emphasized the need to reach out to relevant people to understand the situation better. Yeah, I speak to Liam quite often. He's a good friend of mine. And I'm, wow, well, I'm shocked. This is the, obviously the first I'm hearing of it. I'm so sorry. Um, and wow, I don't really know what to say about that. Is uh, I'm going to have to make sure that I reach out to the relevant people and to find out what's happened to my good friend. Um, I'm away filming at the moment, as you can see. That's why I'm wet and there's a bit of noise around me. Um, but yeah, oh, my condolences and I hope they find out what's gone on. Ryland shared that the news of Liam Payne's passing is extremely sad and tragic, emphasizing how young he was and offered his condolences with an RIP. He wrote, extremely sad news, V tragic and so young. R.I.P. Liam X. Jonas Blue shared his deep sadness over Liam Payne's passing, offering his condolences and wishing him to rest well. He wrote, Beyond sad to hear this news, rest well my friend Liam Payne. Corbin Besson expressed that Liam Payne's news left him speechless, recalling his admiration for One Direction and urging everyone to remind their loved ones that they are loved. He wrote, Damn this Liam Payne news got me speechless. Looked up to 1D so much during the WDW days. You really never know when it's your time to go. Remind your friends' family that you love them today and every day. Charlie Puth expressed shock over Liam Payne's passing, remembering him as incredibly kind and reflecting on their early collaboration. He wrote on his Instagram story, I am so shocked right now. Liam was always so kind to me. He was one of the first major artists I got to work with. I cannot believe he is gone. JVCKJ tweeted about the gut-wrenching news of Liam Payne's passing, recalling how nice he was during their encounters. He wrote, If this Liam Payne news is true that shit is honestly so gut-wrenching, was such a nice guy the few times me and G ran into him, f the internet for being so ruthless over the past few months. For real such a toxic environment on here, man. That's so sad. Taylor Caniff expressed his sad over Liam Payne's death, reflecting on the impact Liam had on their childhoods and sharing that it feels unreal and has left him speechless. He wrote, Liam Payne's death is sad, very, very sad. He played a role in all our childhoods, just doesn't seem real. I'm speechless. Jack Pye McDermott shared his condolences for Liam Payne, noting that his passing serves as a stark reminder of how precious life is. He wrote, R.I.P. Liam Payne. Certainly, a stark reminder that life is precious. So what are your thoughts on this? Share your thoughts in the comment section and make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. Check out our other videos on the screen.